if you go into a hospital, your kids should not be signing to be responsible for your bills. So if you're, you're the kids and you're taking your parents into the nursing home, you're not signing anything. Your parents are responsible for their bills. And then if they would pass, then potentially their estate would have to pay the hospital. But no, Medicare cannot take your house. People are like, well, I've heard that Medicare takes your house and Medicaid. So remember, Medicare, care, healthcare. Medicaid, aid, which is financial assistance, aid for the needy, for people that are low financial needs. So Medicaid, yes, Medicaid can take your house and can take your parents' house to pay themselves back for paying for your care. But the government, when we talk about the government, Medicare, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, they came out last week and they said, hey, nursing homes, we need you to back off a little bit. Because not all, but many nursing homes have tried to kind of trick the kids that are admitting their parent into the nursing home. Let's say you're admitting your mom to a nursing home. They're telling the kids, which you know are gonna be my age, right? that as a condition of admittance, you, the kid, me, have to be responsible for my mom's bills. That's illegal. So that's always been illegal, that's still illegal. And Medicare, the government, sent a letter to the nursing home industry and said, hey, you guys need to back off of this. Debt collectors, as well, would be violating their debt collecting rules and they're heavily governed. They can't go after you because your mom died and they want you to pay her nursing home bills. So they're, they could be in trouble as well. The nursing homes fired back and they said, okay, but this hardly ever happens. You know, they said they're, they're, they're not the problem. But they said there is a lot of problem here. And they said the real problem is that when you, the kid, put your mom into the nursing home, that your mom's social security check every month is still going into her bank account of which you, the kid, have control and you're keeping it. And you can't do that. If your mom's on Medicaid, it means that she does not have enough assets to pay for her own care. Any assets that she does have come in above the threshold, which is very, very low, have to be given to the nursing home and the nursing home reimburses Medicaid. So they said the real problem here, the real bad actors are the families that are trying to preserve all the assets, save the estate as much as they can for their, the kids and the grandkids. And they're not honoring the law, which is Mom's money has to go for mom's care if mom's on Medicaid. So yeah, Medicaid can go after the house, after the estate. Some states really have a, a beefed up system where they really go after that. A lot of states don't. They just don't have the manpower to, to go after it. So as you can imagine, states like California, New York, um, go after it, the big high, high tax states. And places like Oklahoma and Kansas and Wyoming and South Dakota probably don't. But at any time they could, because legally they could come after it. So remember, Medicare is not going to take your house. Medicaid could. If you have more questions, check out our website, themedicarefamily.com. There's a lot more resources for you and your family as you get ready to retire. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on Social Security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment. If you have a specific question, always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.